Well, Joe Biden is expected to unveil his coronavirus task force tomorrow, and this was a top issue for many voters across the country. And especially here in Southern Nevada, where cases are on the rise and our economy is still suffering. 13 Action News reporter Astrid Mendez joining us live now with a breakdown of the newest numbers and what this all means for Southern Nevada. Jackie, as you just mentioned, COVID-19 is on the rise here in Southern Nevada and basically in the entire state. A growing trend that could actually have major implications for our hospitals and for our economy this winter. 1,276 new COVID-19 cases reported by the State Department of Health and Human Services. On Friday, that number was more than 1,500, and yesterday, more than 1,800. That's back-to-back -back records for the most daily cases since the COVID-19 first appeared in the Silver State. The average positivity rate now sits at around 13 percent. Health officials will like to see that number at 5 percent. This new surge in cases comes at a time when many are still recovering financially from the last shutdown. Nevada still remains near the bottom in terms of financial recovery in the last six months. And that's with us being open partially. If there's any shutdown, I don't see how the state can rebound quickly. Stephen Butin, a financial advisor in Las Vegas, says a lot of businesses are still trying to figure it out how to survive and how to prepare for tourists during a traditional busy holiday season, many of them coming from COVID-19 hotspots. Most of the visitors that come to Las Vegas, it's a voluntary visit. There's really no requirement that people come to Las Vegas. So if they don't have to be here, why should they come if they're taking health risks? And while President-elect Joe Biden has promised a different approach to public health when he assumes office, Butin suspects it could take some time. I'm not optimistic that Congress will come together until the new Congress is actually sworn in and the new president is sworn in. And that, that just delays uh, a lot of problems for locals who need that assistance now. Meanwhile, health experts continue to say what basically they've been saying for the last months. Keep using your face covering, keep basically social distancing guidelines, avoid large gatherings, and of course, try to make an appointment to get your flu vaccine as soon as possible. Reporting live, Astrid Mendes, 13 Action News. All right, Astrid, thank you for that. The number of COVID-19 cases around the world has now surpassed 50 million. The U.S. has the highest number of infections with more than 9 million recorded cases. More than 1.2 million people have died from COVID-19 globally, and the U.S. accounts for 20% of those deaths.